Hi, I'm Sasha, a Maps engineer at Google, here with some new ways that you can use the Places API. You'll be able now to get more of the place details information you're used to seeing in your Google Maps experience. Today, I'll share new place fields that provide information about wheelchair accessibility, special opening hours, reviews, and dining and shopping attributes. Before I begin, here is a quick reminder that place fields are organized into three categories, basic, contact, and atmosphere. For more information about these categories, see this related video about place details. First, I am thrilled to announce the new basic data field wheelchair accessible entrance. When you request details about places, you can now check whether Google has information about whether that place has a wheelchair accessible entrance. I'll provide an example of how to request all the new fields at the end of this video. Google has worked with local guides, community organizations, business owners, and our users to bring this information to Google Maps and help more than 1 billion people worldwide, including 200 million wheelchair users like me. For individuals like us, it is critical to know before we go if a destination has stair-free access so we're not stuck outside. Today, I am so proud of our work and grateful to all of those contributors, allowing Maps to make physical accessibility information available through the Places API so that your apps and websites can now share that information and help your users know before they go so that people with disabilities can participate, enjoy, and contribute in their communities just like everyone else. We also have two new contact data fields that enable you to display a place's special opening hours. The Places API used to only return a place's regular opening hours, but did not have a way to show special schedules like holiday hours or available hours for secondary services like deliveries. Many developers have requested this information since you can see it in the Google Maps app, and developers would like to show the same special hours to their users. Now, in addition to the opening hours field, you can request current opening hours and secondary opening hours. The opening hours field contains a place's regular or main schedule. If you want to display the business's current opening hours request, current opening hours. Current will provide the place's schedule for the next seven days, including a subfield, special days, to let you know that the day's schedule is different from their regular schedule. If you want to access secondary hours for a business, such as a store's pharmacy department, or if the restaurant's drive through is open longer than the dining room, request the secondary opening hours field. Secondary opening hours provides the place's secondary schedule for the next seven days and is structured similarly to the current opening hours field. Among our atmosphere data fields, you may already know that the Places API can provide user-written reviews about a place. Before, developers didn't have any way to choose which reviews would get returned. But now, you can request the most relevant or recent reviews using the reviews sort parameter. Google recommends that you display how those reviews are being sorted to the end user. We also now return translated reviews in the request's preferred language by default. You can opt out of receiving translations with the reviews no translations parameter. In responses that contain place reviews, the translated field indicates that the review was translated. The original language field is added to each review and compare original language to language to figure out if the review was translated. If it was, Google recommends showing the text translated by Google in your UI. We've also added new atmosphere data fields. The editorial summary, known colloquially as the Funliner, is a one-line description that Google generates to describe a place for most locations. 
You may have noticed this helpful description in Google Maps, and developers have been asking for it to be made available in the Places API. Now you can display the same short summary about Places in your apps as well. Here are the rest of our new Atmosphere data fields, which include information that has become essential as users depend on it, delivery, takeout, and curbside pickup for planning their outings. To request the fields I shared with you today, add them to the fields parameter of your place details request. The response from the Places API will contain that information, if Google has it, about those fields for the requested place. Here's an example response that you'd see in Google Maps. See the documentation link below for a full explanation of these fields. And these are just the first new exciting additions to the Places API. You can subscribe for much more to come and let us know if you use these new attributes. Thank you for watching, and happy mapping. <laughs>